right, the challenge is in front of you. Do you accept it? I hope so. Keep the game on. Play the challenge. It's solo challenge, Madden Ultimate Team. we go from Las Vegas. And he returns this to the 22. They'll send a receiver in motion to the left. First play, first throw coming for Vic. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. Four yards the result on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. They'll motion McLaurin left. Vic on second down. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Well, that one was all about the defender making life difficult for the receiver. Very tough for a guy to hold on to the football through all that contact. He ends up forcing the incompletion. Off the play fake, Vic. He'll buy some time right. Slings this deep from McLaurin. And that's caught inside the 30. Touchdown, Cardinals. Terry McLaurin. 74 yards. And the Cardinals march right down the field in three plays to claim the early advantage. As he was shuffling right out of the pocket, you could just tell he was going to take a shot downfield. He had his eyes down there the whole way. He certainly did. He wasn't taking off to go, right? When he was flush from the pocket, a lot of times you see him, eyes will drop, ball will get tucked, and he takes off, becomes a running back. But as you noted, stayed alive as a passer. Tremendous body control and a pretty good arm there, too. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. And the Cardinals will go up seven to nothing. the touchdown. Here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he's only going to get this to the four-yard line. Well, not exactly a banner return, so he doesn't give his offense a whole lot of room to work with. They've got to go a long way now to try and score some points. I do know this from experience. There will be a few comments muttered his way by the offense as they head out on the field. right out of the gate. We're going to get a delay. Well, they're inching closer and closer here to the wrong goal line. When you're backed up like that, all you're trying to do is make sure you don't give up a big play, right? You don't miss an assignment that really gets you into more trouble.
play clock down to zero and this is not the way to start a drive they were already backed up now they're backed up further I think they were being so careful to make sure all assignments were covered that they end up running themselves out of time Foreman powering ahead and he'll take this up to about the seven or eight yard line a good productive run there on first down he winds up getting eight a nice run here early on it doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses looking to throw on second down Vic it's caught Mitchell and he's taken down but able to get this up to the 20 yard line back to back good plays have him on the move on first down and off running left Foreman and he'll go down at the 26 following a gain of six now Brandon that's the way you want to run the football there should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now bam boom biff that's how they feel good about moving the football from the 26 they'll line up on second and four A quick throw caught by Evans out wide. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Now here's a timeout defensively coming from the Cardinals. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. A couple of first downs have them to the 40 now on first and 10. There's Evans again, complete. They'll wind up getting just a yard, and it's second down. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Vic now from the 50. Going right back to Fant. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 13 yards as they've got the connection working. His second catch in a row, first down. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against him a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Throw left side complete. That's Evans. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. 25 yards that time. Well, that's not just his first, not his second, already his third completion here on the opening drive. And I, I think it's safe to say that getting him the ball in this game, one of their top priorities. And a top priority for the defense has got to be finding ways to cover him. And I don't think you can have one basic coverage to get it done. You have to throw a number of coverages at him, make him think as he's running downfield, and hope you can create a little bit of havoc. Now the card's going to call another timeout, their second. So as they talk it over, we step aside. They run it on first for Foreman. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. On second down, here's Foreman. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is, and really a lot of...